Well, in Latin America, we started getting involved last year in um, Rio de Janeiro at VLJ Latin America. We were strongly encouraged to jump into the marketplace. We saw the market uh, emerging about two years behind that of the United States, about one year behind Europe. And what we can do now is we can take some of the best practices, some of the cost savings that we can provide to operators, and provide them in, to Latin America, work with the different, uh, work with all the air taxi providers, service providers, and suppliers, and create a genuine marketplace and industry that hasn't existed before. We believe we're at the threshold where it's the right time to enter to support the marketplace, to support existing associations throughout the Latin America and the Caribbean, but most importantly, to give the air taxi operators the voice at the table that they've wanted and why they've wanted to join with us. I think in every economic downturn, there have been those that have taken what appears to be very bitter lemons and made lemonade out of it. I think it's an opportunity. The best time to invest is to buy low and sell high. I think in the past few years, we've seen a tremendous amount of exuberance towards the space. What we'll see moving forward is I think we'll see incremental growth matching passengers, pilots, and planes with the areas that are needed and also in Latin America and the Caribbean you have some advantages in that you're able to more easily aggregate demand so you're able to more successfully take off with air taxi service with, from point to point in areas that require the demand rather than having to do demand aggregation techniques under part 135 in the United States. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah, wah, I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. I think one of the challenges that's unique to this market is you have a high number of unpaved runways. So that, this is where it lends itself a bit more to the technically advanced aircraft. The opportunity also is you have a much older air, aircraft, typical aircraft age for air charter in the region. I think this is going to accelerate demand as we move forward and really help us, um, you know, help us grow the Latin American and Caribbean marketplace faster then might be done typically in a downward economic cycle. There's really pent up demand and I think as Embraer stated earlier today, they're, they're seeing that ramp up aggressively. It's great to see. Yeah, Embraer is a, is a very conservative company as the, one of the, the major manufacturers of commercial aircraft in the world, if, if not perhaps the third largest aircraft manufacturer of uh, commercial aircraft in the world. We take a very conservative look at, at marketplace. Uh, we do a lot of market studies prior to launching any new aircraft program. When we took a look at the, the VLJ market, uh, there were clearly a lot of companies uh, that had already uh, made announcements um, of the airplanes, some of which were, were destined to change the world, darken the skies. Perhaps uh, Embraer's view and our market forecast always took a look um, at more traditional marketplace first um, and then um, advanced marketplace second to that. All of our uh, building a forecast and our production wrap up was based on uh, very conservative, very traditional forecasting systems. Well, as a Latin American aircraft manufacturer, clearly we recognize there are a lot of nationalism um, in, in really all countries throughout Latin America. Uh, we took a look at the market potential uh, throughout the world. Clearly, uh, North America is a very strong market for us. Uh, Europe, Africa, Middle East is a very strong market for us. But the, the, the growing aspects of Latin America clearly positioned the cliffs uh, to be a great partner for people not only in Brazil but throughout Latin America. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. The regulatory environment for VLJs in Latin America and the Caribbean, as it is for VLJs in most of the rest of the world, is not yet set in stone. And there are still some, some potential <coughs> issues out there with regard to the certification and the training requirements, and even future potential operational requirements that, uh, that might be 
imposed upon VOJs. We haven't uh, been terribly engaged with Latin America and the Caribbean, and, and that's a good news story in the sense that there really hasn't been a need to be very engaged because there haven't been a lot of problems. I think the regulatory environment in both Latin America and the Caribbean is fairly liberal and open, sort of on the model, I think, of the FAA, um, and we'd like to keep it that way. So we are always sort of on the, on the lookout, but we are certainly ready to to take action and advise uh, the industry if, if we feel the need to do so. Gamma, I think, has always been, as you point out, we hope the voice of reason uh, and, and we will support and will even advocate regulation where we feel it's necessary. And it is necessary in, in several aspects of VOJ uh, uh, training and so on. Uh, but, but caution, caution, caution when uh, it's not needed.